Outside is getting cold and dry, which is why you should be keeping your insides warm and moist with GamerSup's new tees for morning time, sleepy time, or any time. Use code DRAC for 10% off your purchases. Dude, I really feel like that we the people that balance Dark Knight against Breaker, they, they have nothing to do with the game. 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 Job balance is overrated. There, I said it. Not to say that it isn't important, of course it is. Every job should be able to complete every bit of content in the game. And right now they can. The pristine level to which they've balanced jobs in Final Fantasy XIV, however, is also a reason why the job design is feeling a bit stale. Whether it's every job's rotation revolving around a two minute window, or every tank having a progressively similar kit. The gaps between performance fade, but so does job diversity. But is job balance in a PvE game even that important to begin with. Honestly, only as much as we think it does, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. In a recent interview, Yoshi P was asked about two-minute windows and the homogenization of jobs. This was his response from a Reddit post. He says, that's a difficult question. We have skill rotations varying between 60 and 120 seconds for the most intense phases, and that's how it works currently. But the reason it's like this today is that we've received in the past Feedback from all over the world saying that the timing of fights were difficult. It was difficult to align skills between classes. We were asked to unify everything. And precisely because we received these requests to homogenize this, we homogenized it. We're okay making things a little crazy and having different things between all the classes. But again, we made these changes because we got feedback that it was too difficult before. We understand that there are two types of players. So going forward, regardless of whether we change this or not, the community needs to reach a consensus. What is better? Before changing something, we need to get feedback from everyone. Personally, I don't care so much about two minute windows as much as job identity. I don't think they really go hand in hand. From my point of view, as long as DPS checks are emphasized in end game content, Making it more streamlined between jobs just makes sense. No, oh come on. That's a whole other conversation though. What did stick out to me was the call for the community to reach a consensus on this type of issue. For a long time, the devs have avoided doing anything that would turn different parts of the community against each other. Things like adding strictly support classes because they might be too strong, and then Toxic players will gatekeep other players if they don't play those jobs in Party Finder. The same goes for if they start adding more unique design aspects to different jobs. There are no talent trees in this game. What? Min-maxers might find a way to break the game and make them not part of the meta, or most efficient tactic available for any newbies in the audience today. Not that I think min-maxers or hardcore players are doing anything wrong, but how can the player base reconcile their differences and land on a common solution? I have a few ideas, but the first goes back to how I opened this video. We need to decide what kinds of job balance actually matter. Now I've been asked, how can you say job balance is overrated when you've played since 2.0? Admittedly, my memory is uh, pretty poor on the details because they weren't a big deal to me at the time. I was a much worse player and I didn't understand how to even properly do my rotation. What I do remember very clearly though, is Paladin being the preferred tank in all the groups I ran with. That is, until 2.1 when warrior changes made it much stronger and that trend didn't slow down for a few expansions. If you're curious just how rough they had it originally, I'll link this video from Mr. Happy going over all those changes as they were announced. Thank you, Happy. Now, this is a little bit different from what I'm talking about now because balance in that case needed to happen in order for Warrior just to do a comparable job to Paladin who had a much stronger kit at the time. You were basically making life harder for yourself and your group by playing Warrior. <coughs> Wrath stacks. <coughs> that being said, after these changes, the gripe shifted from Warrior not being good enough to doing everything too well. They could tank well, do great damage, all while Paladin still only shined in how little damage they could take. Which is 
kind of the point of the class. But anyway, while they were both viable at this point and they could complete content, it was more the perception that Paladin was not getting as many goodies, which led to resentment to Warrior players, or at least the job in general. I am interested to hear in the comments if this was a shared experience with you guys though. In my opinion, adjustments and balance changes are much more important when the current design prevents jobs from one, being able to participate in content effectively, two, being useful in certain content, and three, being enjoyable to play in any content at all. I'm bringing these up hopefully to drive the point home about the differences I see between balanced problems that need adjusting versus what players perceive as problems. Of course, encounter design and balance also play a role in what changes jobs need. But right now I'm going off the assumption that job balance is being done because of how encounters are designed. Now there are still some jobs that excel over others. DPS that do more damage, tanks that take less damage, and healers that heal more effectively. I really don't think it's possible for the devs to completely prevent these differences without making every job have the exact same rotation, but with different animations, basically. Even if it feels like we're getting kind of close. Overall though, I think we have the best balance between jobs of any MMO on the market right now. I'm simply afraid that by not cultivating a sense of diversity in job design, Modern Balance has been conditioning these vocal players to expect the same things from every job and get very upset when it deviates. Remember how upset people got when Reaper was shown off and people thought it was too fast? Or at least Yoshi P anticipated that backlash. At least the devs have been consistently digging in their heels with new job designs by asking the player base to actually get their hands on it before judging it. They are still apprehensive, however, about adding anything that could be considered too strong because players will gatekeep other players if they don't use the strong jobs. And to be fair, they're right. That absolutely will happen. Obviously, I'm not suggesting that a disparity between jobs should be the goal. We should simply accept that it's gonna happen. Fun should be the primary goal of design. Balance comes after. Every job should still be viable in every encounter. Everybody should be able to complete any fight on any job. It's just that a certain meta, a clear meta, will emerge eventually. And if there's one thing that the loudest community members hate more than anything, it's when their job isn't considered meta. Now, the dev teams are the ones who have been making these changes up until this point. That's true, only because players have been asking for them. And now players are complaining about them. So the first thing to tackle, who are the problem players? My theory is that it's the boobs. I think the player base fits somewhere along this graph. You have casual players to the left and hardcore players to the right, with midcore players sitting nicely between them. At these three points, I think players are actually pretty chill. They don't bother anyone, they know what they want, and they play the content they like without expecting all other content to be catered to them. As you start getting to the center, however, from each polar end, the sense of ego and entitlement starts to rise, leading to toxic pockets next to both camps. I bring this up because generally it's thought of that the hardcore players are the toxic elitists, but having spent time around them, it's actually not true. Yeah, they might make things a headache for the devs by min-maxing and finding ways to break the game in ways that the devs didn't realize it could happen, but they're also the ones figuring out how we can optimize our rotations, what our best in slot gear is, and what the best strats are for each fight. Hardcore players also exist in all forms of content, not just raiding. Be nice to them because a lot of the time they just want to help, and at worst, mind their own business. The toxic elitists are the ones who see all this information from the hardcore players, fail to understand it, and then simply regurgitate it while flaming anyone who isn't playing that way. You know, the people who will be in a party with Mr. Happy and then give him crap for not doing the Happy Bramble strat because better strats have come out at that point. Mind you again, I expect this to change in the future as more optimal strategies come out. These people may be decent players, but they think they're much better and smarter than they actually are, which leads to a lot of problems. You can also spot these players by their mentor crowns. But how can somebody be a toxic casual? Trust me, they exist. Toxic casuals see meta strats, jobs, builds, and feel personally attacked by them. People enjoying the game differently in a way that they don't see as fun are actively hurting the game in their minds. Big pulls? That's sweaty. Healer DPS? Not my job. If you like or do either of those things? You're a sweaty toxic tryhard trying to suck the fun out of the game for everyone. You can also spot these players by their mentor crowns. These players have an inflated sense of entitlement and believe that not only should no one 
ever suggest that they could improve. They better keep that kind of gameplay out of their groups. Now, are there a lot of these players or are they just loud? There's enough to give significant feedback, but the fact that they give it isn't what bothers me. What bothers me is the defeatist attitude of everyone else believing that it's a losing battle to even try speaking up. This is why I periodically keep trying to have gratitude threads about what you guys enjoy about the game. It's not to stroke the devs' egos like so many people seem to think. It's about giving feedback about what should stay to counter the negativity. If you like something but never mention how you like it, guess what? There are plenty of people who hate that thing and want it changed. And since they're the only ones talking about it, they give the illusion of being the dominant force in the community. It's not that it's a losing battle. It's that a lot of us, myself included, Take things for granted and don't even bother showing up to the fight. By the time we're mad enough to talk about it ourselves, it's too late. And to the 14 team, you can make things a little easier for us by making a section of the form specifically for positive feedback. I think the general understanding is, at least for me, is that it's to bring up issues, problems, and suggestions rather than to give you an idea of what we think doesn't need to be changed. Anything addressing this, whether or not I've missed it or it could be added, would be a huge help. So what does any of this have to do with job balance? Well, I'm finally getting to that. By making jobs more interesting, having them do unique things, or even have rotations that don't fall in line with the norm, sub jobs are going to excel and some will fall behind. At least in terms of how good they are, not really how fun they are. But we've established that. Gaps between their performance will increase. That shouldn't be the goal, but it's unavoidable. Make jobs fun and make sure that they can clear all kinds of content. I'd even like it if they made a few jobs more complex. Just have like a little chart during character creation to show how beginner friendly certain ones are. Works for fighting games. Well, this isn't a fighting game. Whatever. Not that I think that jobs should be purposefully inaccessible, but I just don't think it's a problem if not everyone can pick it up right away. In any case, players and their perceptions are the problem. So what do we do to address the issue of people getting kicked out of groups for not playing the right jobs? I have two solutions. Solution one is having a toggle in Party Finder between for fun and hardcore. People who want to min-max, speed run, or do special strats will ideally gravitate towards the hardcore tab. People who just want to play with the jobs that they want will go to the for fun. This solution allows both groups of people to find like-minded individuals with reduced friction. They're also left to deal with the boobs in their own respective skill levels. While certain people are still going to be toxic and gatekeep, everyone else has just as much power to refuse to play with them for their attitudes. We also have the ability to lay out the expectations in our own party finder groups to help weed them out more. This isn't foolproof because sometimes people lie or they just want to stir up trouble. I'm not under the illusion that the clear for one then farm groups are going to magically disappear, but we do have tools to avoid these interactions through either blocking these players or reporting harassment. Hopefully using all these things can help us get through that initial rough patch and start cultivating a culture that promotes respecting other players. For the more casual players, having a place where they don't have to prove anything might help their confidence, which will allow them to at least stand up to more toxic players. Ideally, anyway. Also, maybe add a weekly reward for getting commended a certain number of times. It might require an entire rework of the comm system, but couldn't hurt. Solution to, like, a lot of my ideas requires a lot more work. Instead of getting new jobs for a while, Hear me out. The dev team could focus on splitting each current job into two specializations. If you've played like Black Desert Online, think Awakening versus Succession. One spec would follow the two minute formula, where everyone follows the same kind of rotations and timings that we have now. The other would focus on job identity. Rotations could be less strict, have more branches, or just have neat abilities that otherwise wouldn't really be possible with two minute restrictions. You're always saving up for that two minute burst, you can't just be willy nilly with all your abilities. We could also combine solution one and two and give each group what they want without compromising either of their fun. Of course, each group can still play with whatever specialization they want in any tab of the party finder. Now, now I hear you. World of Warcraft does this whole spec thing, and they have the exact same community issue where players flame other players for not playing the best ones. But when they're not stroking their parses over clearing content, I hear they're also having a lot of fun with these different builds. And that's the goal, fun. I only made this video because I'm seeing more and more players fixate on things that aren't really stopping them from enjoying the game. It's their own mentality that X job has better things that really keeps them from having fun. They just make these rules up because they don't understand that the best players can clear any content on any job because they know how to play the job, not because that job is the best. And the devs see this mentality and they don't want to give it any space to grow. 
I understand that completely. But we do have the power to speak up and change the way we look at the game. We can at least try. That doesn't mean we're going to get what we want, but I personally believe it's better to try and fail than to never even make the attempt. Whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, we need to give feedback. We need to come to a consensus. And we can do that, whether it be here, on the forums, on social media, everywhere that they have eyes. They are definitely watching, they're paying attention, they want to help. They want to let us have fun. So let's show them how that works.